Hi, and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley, and today I am super excited to share with you my part one of my Valentine's Day Decorate With Me. Today, we're gonna be decorating my kitchen and my coffee bar, and I really think that you're going to love what I did. It's so bright and colorful and all things Valentine's. So if you wanna see it, stay tuned. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that little notification bell, and in the drop down menu, click all so you're notified about all notifications. Diving right into the new year, I have so many ideas for room makeovers, room refreshers, organization videos. We're going to be doing the baby's nursery, a craft room overhaul, a playroom organization, and so much more. So if you don't want to miss any of that, please subscribe and turn on your notifications. All right, let's jump right into decorating for Valentine's Day. Now, let's start in the kitchen. So this is what we have going on. Um, don't mind the baby carrier. I have to go pick up Amelia in a little bit. So obviously I got to take the baby. So here is an overview. I'm not really going to go through where I got everything because a lot of it was in my haul video. If it was something that was not my haul video, I'll, I'll mention it. But here's kind of like what we're using. Now, the theme in my kitchen is going to be based off of this. I still love this. I think it's so cute. So it's going to be like kind of cupcake baking theme, which is hilarious because I don't bake at all. The only thing I do in the kitchen is decorate it and the dishes. So, but real quick, I wanted to show you something. I visited this new store this morning called Pop Shelf, and they are popping up, no pun intended, um, all over the United States. And the best way to describe it is that if Dollar General, Five Below, and Target Dollar Spot had a baby, it would be Pop Shelf. So um, I want to show you the little things that I picked up. Now, I did get like other things like Diet Mountain Dew and stuff, but I'm not going to show you that. But I'm going to show you the Valentine stuff, okay? Um, okay, so look how cute this is. This is an apron, you know, for all the bacon I'm going to do. Um, this was $5, so I thought this would be perfect. It's a baking thing. Um, then I got these, I believe it's eucalyptus. Yep. This was $3. Look, these were so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use them in here. I don't know what, but I love them. And then I got these two. These are tea light holders. Like you put tea lights in here. I don't know if I'm going to use these in here too, but I wanted to show you them. And then I got new kitchen towels. I definitely needed them. Two for $3. And I mean, yeah, these are perfect for Valentine's Day, obviously, but red is my um, accent color in here. I got those that I'm, I can use. And then I also got these two utensils. Look at it. It's a heart. How cute is that? I've not seen that anywhere. And this was $3. And then I got a pink spatula. That one's $3. And then... I want to try this out. Oops, sorry about my fingers. Um, I want to try this out. I use this right here. Don't mind my sink. Um, I use this, and I kind of think it's ugly. I'm trying to, like, go for a more sophisticated look this year. So I'm going to try this out. I don't know. I'm interested, but you can put soap in it. So I love that. Also, I did a little Target haul um, as well, so I'm going to show you real quick. Um, I did return uh, quite a few things actually from my haul just as I was kind of thinking about it or actually going through my Valentine's Day stuff. I realized, oh, I already had this, so didn't need it. But look at me. how cute is that? It says cutie pie. Um, she has like a little cooking or baking utensil, so I thought that would be perfect. And here is five dollars. And then I got these pot holders, which are perfect. This one's a heart. And then this one has hearts on it. This one is a two count for $5. And then this I got, I don't know what they're calling it. Is it a tray? Is it for crafting? Who really knows? But um, it's like a pale pink. So I think I'm actually, I'm going to use this as a tray. So I think that's going to be perfect. And then, uh, hello, perfect. Going to use a cupcake because it's a cupcake baking themed kitchen. And then look at these little lovebirds. I, I saw like everyone was buying these and I've never found them in the store before. And then I went today, I tell you what, I hit the jackpot at, there's like four targets closest to me. Um, and I hit the jackpot 
at one today. This all came from one. And then, yeah, so I got these. Um, and then I got something else that I'll show you in a minute. But, um, or after I decorate the kitchen. Okay, so then I got this sign that I think I'm going to put above the refrigerator. You know, I like to decorate above there because it's ugly. So, um, yeah, so that's just a little haul that I got from Target. Um, so super, super excited. And then I got two more things that I'll show you coming up. So, all right. Anyway, I rambled a lot enough. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first area we're going to decorate is this corner. Now, typically I put a tear tray, but for winter, I decided that I was going to do like just an actual tray and decorate it. So I kind of wanted to do the same thing because I really loved it. So what I actually ended up doing was taking a bottom off of a tiered tray. So I have this here. It's why it has a hole in it. And I have like a three tiered tray, a white one. So I just took the bottom off and it's the biggest part. And that's what I'm going to use as my tray. Now I got this idea from Mother Time on YouTube. And I thought it was genius because instead of having to go buy all these trays, you can just use what you already have. So if you watched my haul video, you saw that I bought this new lamp from Target and I loved it because it's fillable. So this was what I had in mind. So every season or every holiday, I can fill it with different things to match the theme. So obviously for Valentine's Day, I'm going to go ahead and put these foam hearts inside. Now it doesn't have a bottom, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to go ahead and get it to um, or keep all the hearts inside. I'm just going to go ahead and take like that little... A heart tray that you see I'm gonna put it at the bottom and then flip it over I really wanted a lamp in this corner because it's dark in this corner so now I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna put it in the back of my tray and then I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and I don't know what light bulb I have in here but holy moly it is bright look at that so next I'm gonna go ahead and take this um mixing bowl I don't know I don't cook or bake and then I'm gonna put this um, little towel in it and then I'm just gonna take all these mini utensils that I have now all the red ones and you'll see more like you'll see bigger ones in a minute I keep out all year I just I, I don't pack them away I should say so they're red so I can use them three times a year Christmas now for Valentine's Day and 4th of July. So I don't actually pack those away. I just put them in a grocery bag and keep them in my pantry so I can pull them out. So next to all that, I'm going to go ahead and put that little stand that I made. I also made that cupcake. And look it, I got to use the bird. And then I finished it off with a little pink rose and pushed it into the corner. Now I do wish I could hide that outlet a little more, but that's okay. Speaking of hiding outlets, I'm gonna go ahead and use this ladder and I already put some cute little towels on it. And then I'm just gonna add this little heart and that took care of that outlet. <laughs> Moving on to the top of my oven, I got this from Target, and look at this candle. It is so cute. It smells so good. I got this from Home Goods. It was $7.99, but the coolest thing about it is it has, like, little candies or sprinkles or whatever you want to call it, and like I said, it smells so good. So, of course, let's go ahead and light her up. Also, the noise in the background is definitely Charlotte. She has the hiccups, and she's vocal. <laughs> Um, next to, uh, in front of the stove, I'm going to go ahead and put these towels and it did come in a three pack from Home Goods for $9.99. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer two of them, but I loved it because it says Cupid's Cafe and I thought it was so, so cute. Yeah, you do too, Char? Me too. So I, I love this and I love the mixture of, <laughs> I love the big mixture of pink and red. She's definitely talkative today. All right, now I always keep my utensil holder here on this little tray. So I'm going to go ahead and add this towel. This towel is going to be changed in a minute, you'll see. But I have this jar, so I thought it would be cute to add my utensils in there. And these red ones, like I said, these are part of the set <laughs> that I have um, that I keep, you know, I keep handy all year. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a bunch of these utensils. Um, I have red ones, I have some Ray Dunn ones, and some pink ones. 
and I'm purposely arranging them so that those big white ones cover the outlet because again I don't really love that you can see the outlets and so I'm trying to do everything I can to cover them so this is a good way of trying to cover them because it's something functional like utensils and so you can use them as decor too but also it serves the purpose of covering an ugly outlet All right, moving down to this little rack that I have on the side of my cabinet, I'm going to go ahead and put these two bandanas um, on the rack, and that's just like a little tip. Don't spend a ton of money on like towels and napkins and stuff. Buy bandanas. They're so much cheaper. And I bought these last year and used them in my um, dining room, and so I just thought I'd use them in here. So then I'm going to put this mini cutting board that I always keep on this rack because it's like the perfect size. Now, I kind of played with this a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch my process here because for some reason this was giving me trouble. Like, my creative juices were just not flowing. So, um, eventually I do get it to look how I wanted, but just enjoy my process. Okay, so finally I got it to look how I wanted, and um, my whole thing is layering, so I really love layering different pieces in different colors, so hopefully you got that from watching this, but I do love how that ended up coming out. All right, now moving to the top of my refrigerator, I like to decorate this because as you can see, it's ugly, there's a big hole there because we had to take a cabinet down. So I keep this big crate out all year long because um, it really hides a lot of that, so I'm going to go ahead and put my Banking Love Heart um, pan or dish or whatever you want to call it up on top. And I, again, had issues with this. I just, the creative juices were just not there. But eventually with a lot of playing around and um, playing and plugging, I actually got that term from Traditions by the Seasons. I love her channel. I love her. And because she's a maximalist, just like me, obviously. And um, so I just kind of like move things around. And sometimes it does take a while. And sometimes I have to leave and come back to it and just look at it with fresh eyes. And that's totally okay. But after a lot of playing around, I finally got the top of my refrigerator looking how I wanted it. Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Like I said earlier, my name's Ashley. I'm a wife and a mama of two, a five-year-old and a very vocal three-month-old, apparently. <laughs> so I am all things DIY, home decor, room makeovers, yeah, things like that. So if any of that sounds appealing to you, definitely subscribe so you can join my YouTube family and catch all the fun that I've planned in 2023. There's so much more to come. So I am so excited to jump right in. If you're new, thank you so much for choosing to stop by today. I truly hope you love what you see. And if you do, <laughs> don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel to grow. So after I finally got the pieces where I wanted, I went ahead and topped it off with this rose garland that I absolutely love. I believe I got it from Hobby Lobby last year, but um, I really love how that top of the fridge came out. 
Moving on to my wall hangy basket thing. I never know what to call it. Um, I am going to really push the cupcake theme here. So I had those pictures from the Dollar Tree last year. And so I'm going to put that and those measuring spoons from Target. Now, these are the ones actually I got last year. The ones I got this year I returned because I forgot I had those ones. Uh, so, and they're kind of different colors, but either one would be perfect. And then, of course, I'm going to add this sign. Now, I did my hutch in my dining room all cupcake theme last year. So that's why I have a lot of this cupcake stuff. And I'm like, well, I have it. I might as well use it. No, no sense of buying a ton of new stuff. So then I had another one of those pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the other basket with some cookie cutters. And I know you don't typically use cookie cutters for cupcakes, but just stay with me on this, okay? It's just a, a general baking theme, all right? Anyway, so then I'm going to <clears throat> work on the side here. Now, again, <laughs> this took me forever. This took me forever to figure out. But again, just with a lot of playing and pulling and plugging and blah, 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 blah. I finally got it. And so I'm going to go in with this kitchen towel that I actually turned inside out so you can't see the writing, but I really liked the red on the bottom, but don't, don't get attached to it because I do end up changing it out. Then this is that cutting board that I got from uh, Target Dollar Spot and it had like the arrows, like the little picks, cheese picks with it. And then I'm gonna go in with this pot holder that came in that two pack, the heart one we already used. And <clears throat> next I just have like these little accessories all over the house because they're good for layering just like this. So I'm just kind of using a variety of different things. That cutting board I got from Target Dollar Spot last year. And then I have um, my Cupid's Bakery one that I got from Hobby Lobby this year. So I went ahead and put it in front of the heart, although, again, you're going to see me move a whole bunch of stuff around. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you watch my process and how it all came together. All right, so finally I figure out exactly how I want it to look. So I'm just going to go ahead and change out some things, move some things around. And again, it's layering. Now I did have to use two ribbons there because I ran out of S hooks. But don't worry, I have some coming in the mail. And then I'm going to top it off with this little sign that I made last year. And I really loved how this came out. All right, moving on to my little counter shelf here. I love decorating this. I'm pretty much going to do the same thing I did last year. I really loved how it came out. It was a whole candy or sweets theme. So I'm first going to start off with a big cutting board and that that tray. I honestly don't remember where that tray came from. I think I got it like two years ago. And then these gumball machines did come from Target Dollar Spot two years ago. And so I, they are hollow at the bottom. So I always fill the bottom with paper towel these cookies oh my gosh they came from Walmart they are so good these were definitely open before I even started decorating this shelf because oh they're just so good um, you got to try them they came from Walmart I don't know if I said that but anyways I'm just gonna go ahead and fill each one of my gumball machines with the cookies and put one on either end and I'm kind of gonna hide that outlet there on the right now these jars came from Target Dollar Spot a few years ago as well. And in one of them, I'm gonna put these cookies and cream heart hearts, and these were really good too. Obviously this was open. I may or may not have had chocolate the night before. Don't judge me. Anyways, I'm going to put those in one. And then in the other one, I'm going to do chocolate kisses. So this is perfect for a Valentine's uh, candy bar. So then I'm going to take these small little jars that I actually made a few years ago. And in one, I'm going to put conversation hearts. Now you're going to see that I didn't have a lot. So as I was filming this, I actually called my husband and I said, stop at the store and get more. And then you're going to see that I get more. Now look. I try to be all perfect in everything and perfectly pour the conversation hearts in the jar, but then I remember that no one's perfect, I'm definitely not perfect, far from it, and they flew everywhere. So just, you know, if you think that every, you know, everything on YouTube is just so perfect and placed perfectly and all that, 
clearly it's not. It's real life. Anyways, in the other jar, I'm going to put my favorite peanut M&Ms. And obviously, I had to have a few. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and put these jars on my candy bar shelf as well. All right, so this sweet like candy sign came from Hobby Lobby last year, and I thought it was so perfect to go ahead and put on my candy bar. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick that right in the middle. Now, I must have missed it, but I did add those little flowers on the ends there. I must have cut that footage. Now, to the part that opens up, I'm actually going to put a white tr plate on either side, the left and the right. And then on top, I'm going to put these little pieces that I found in the fairy garden section last year at the Dollar Tree. And they're perfect because they're like little cakes or cupcakes. Then in the middle, I have two of these red bowls that I'm going to just put some foam hearts in and put in the middle section along with a foam flower. And look how fun this entire shelf came out. Like, I don't but I do want to eat all this chocolate and all the goodies because it just looks so good. I love how this came out. Now moving on to the side of that, this is where I always keep my uh, dog's treats. So I'm going to use this round cutting board that I actually just found in my stash. I forgot I got it last year. And I'm gonna layer in front of it this love sign from Target this year. Then I'm gonna put this white stand from Target. I believe that towel came from Target. And then this Bon Appetit canister that I keep his little bones or treats in. I'm going to go ahead and push. I'm, I'm like wedging those things in the back if you're wondering like why I'm holding it and everything. It's because I have to wedge it back there so they don't fall. And I put that cutting board there to hide the outlet back there. Then I'm just going to top it off with that cute little cupcake. And I love this little area too. I think it's, I think it's perfect. All right, moving on to the sink. I bought these two new soap dispensers from Target this year and they came with labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the labels on and I'm gonna do one for dish soap and one for hand soap. And then I just went to the dollar store, the Dollar Tree, and I bought pink hand soap and pink dish soap. And uh, for obvious reasons, so that way it fits into my Valentine's theme. But this is a great budget-friendly way to bring things in seasonally and not have to break the bank. So you can get these refillable soap dispensers and just fill them with different colors uh, throughout the seasons if you're if you want to <laughs> or you can just get you know solid ones and it doesn't matter what color you have but I like it I think it adds like a fun little touch and it didn't cost that much so why not so after my labels were put on I'm gonna go ahead and fill both my jars Now, I'm gonna add this little uh, tray that I got from Target Dollar Spot last year, and that's what I'm gonna go ahead and put my soaps on. Then to the bottom, I'm gonna put one of my new fresh red towels. 
All right, moving on to the kitchen peninsula. I always want to call it an island, but I know it's not. I'm going to go ahead and use these um, placemats that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love them because they're, they're so pretty and metallic. Then I always like to put like a little tray here. So I'm going to use this red tray I got from Hobby Lobby last year. And then this little vase that says smooch. This little love sign that I've had for years. And then just a little heart. And that's it to this little peninsula here. Then moving on to the kitchen table, I'm gonna go ahead and put my Lazy Susan right in the middle. And then I'm gonna put this tiered tray. I believe that came from Target Dollar Spot too. Then I have these cute little candies, candles. I love these, I've had these for years. So I'm gonna put them right on top. And then I'm gonna just take this little bud base and I'm just gonna put some of these little uh, foam heart picks inside. And then I'm going to take these measuring cups. Now I did layer each one underneath with some paper towels so they kind of rise up, if that makes sense. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and put more of those foam hearts inside the top. Then I'm gonna take this salt and pepper shaker that was actually from Christmas and it had like a little stocking on the front so I just took some rose stickers and stuck them right on the front and then it already had that twine because they were Christmas. So that's another example on how I'm just using things that I have and even repurposing them a little bit. So next I'm gonna go ahead and add my Valentine themed uh, napkins that I got from Target and then I am gonna top it off with this little love sign and look how cute this little Lazy Susan came out. I love it. Next, I'm going to add these cute little placemats that I got from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods last year. And I just thought they were adorable. And that after these are added, that completes my kitchen table. And I thought it came out so cute. Then to finish off the whole kitchen, I'm gonna go ahead and add that apron to the side of my refrigerator. And that's it. That completes my kitchen for Valentine's Day. What do you think? What you do Here's the coffee bar. Don't mind the mess over here. I literally kind of sectioned things off into rooms. That's just how I kind of do it in what I think I'm gonna be using in every room. So don't, and I kind of play a little bit before I record because we'd be here for hours if you watched me change out everything because I have issues um, <laughs> making decisions. But anyways, so yeah, don't mind the mess behind. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do my coffee bar. Real quick, I wanna address this. I always get questions. 
um, on the shelves. I made those. I do have a video. You can go ahead and check it out. This came from Hobby Lobby. And then I also flipped this. That's also in the, this whole thing is in the same video. So, um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do the coffee bar. Also, I just want to, the shirt I'm wearing, sorry, no makeup today. Um, the shirt I'm wearing says coffee is my Valentine. Can we just appreciate the fact that it actually has coffee stains on it? So it's not a lie, I guess. <laughs> All right, so let's get started decorating my coffee bar. Okay, so real quick, this is everything I think I'm going to be using. Now it's a lot more red than I thought I was gonna do, but there's a reason. I went <clears throat> to Target and finally found ah, this. Now it does have a little spot on it, but I don't really care. It was the last one I called four Targets. Before I did this video, I was like, I'm just gonna check one more time. So I basically picked out everything that I thought would match um, that sign. So this whole coffee bar is based off of this sign. So it's going to be, so obviously red is the color here, pop of color. Now there are going to be pops of pink and also coffee. <laughs> um, and look at the mug. It's Sleeping Beauty. Look how cute. Actually, I could probably use that for Valentine's Day too. Cute. All right, now let's get started on the coffee bar. So typically I don't put the sign on my coffee bar till the very end, like to bring it all together. But I had to go ahead and put it on because the things that I'm gonna be surrounding it, I had to see like the positioning. So I'm just putting this coffee bar sign on with command strips and uh, I just cannot even get over how excited I am. I know like, you know, it's in the greater scheme of things, is it a big deal? No, but I, was looking everywhere for that side so I'm so happy that I ended up finding it but basically on this top shelf I'm just gonna go ahead and put my Ray Dunn canisters these were perfect because they're red and white so they definitely go with the theme I'm going with and I'm just gonna use these little um, risers to make the end can canisters a little higher I just felt like it was more aesthetically pleasing to the eye and again I really like levels and layering now I am going to be adding two more things up there, but we are going to move to the second shelf for now. I'm going to go ahead and anchor the shelf, which I've really loved doing lately with a red charger. And then on top, I'm going to put the all you need is love and hot cocoa sign I got from Hobby Lobby years ago, but I thought it was perfect. So this whole shelf is kind of all about hot cocoa. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, two of my Ray Dunn. Uh, mugs with their toppers on uh, the shelf and then I also got these jars finally I found these two so in one I'm gonna go ahead and put these peppermint sticks although they were a little tall so I am gonna have to go through and break them in half um, so that's what I'm gonna do and then in the other one I'm gonna put the heart marshmallows that I found at the Dollar Tree so I don't know about you and tell me in the comments, but I drink hot chocolate through February. Like starting with March, I go ahead and stop doing like a hot cocoa bar, but I literally love hot chocolate. Ugh, just one of my favorite things to do at night is just cuddle up with a nice cup of hot chocolate. And I don't know, it just gives me all the winter feels and makes, I guess, winter in Northeast Ohio bearable <laughs> when I know I have a nice cup of hot chocolate waiting for me. So, um, and I love, you know, adding some really fun things so anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and add this and yes the bag was open because a certain five-year-old got into it when I was not looking so um there's that so I learned from last time if you watched my winter decorate with me that I had marshmallows on this like on the coffee bar itself but now I learned they need to go up on the shelf <laughs> so little hands can't reach it so now I'm gonna go ahead and put these candle holders. Again, these are a piece that I keep handy all year because they're red, I can use them all year round. Then I'm just gonna put these cute little candles on. And then look at these little sprinkles. So I actually put these little jars together last year and they do have a little ribbon around it. And I believe the string sprinkles came from Target, but one has like little X's and O's and then one is just regular Valentine sprinkles. Sprinkles don't go bad, right? Like these are from last year, I'm sure they're fine. Anyway, so I'm just gonna kinda play with this shelf a little bit too to get it how I like. I really didn't wanna block that sign because I wanted you to be able to read what it said. So you can see that I'm just kind of moving things around. 
but I am loving how this is looking so far. I had something totally different in mind until I found that coffee bar sign. So I'm glad that it all came together. And yeah, I just, I love it. All right, moving down to the coffee bar itself. I got this runner from Target this year. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. <laughs> this is always a struggle because I can't lift the Keurig up very high because the cord's not that long. So it's a struggle. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this runner on. But I love like the little pink touches it added to it too. So you're going to see like the theme was red and white and black basically but there are little touches of pink too all right so now I'm gonna go in with my tiered tray and I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in the corner like I always do and then we're gonna go ahead and start decorating it so to the top I'm gonna put those um, uh, the to-go coffee cups this is actually a five pack from Dollar Tree then I found this in my stash. It's just a little um, like picture that you could get from the Dollar Tree. And I just put a little pink ribbon around it. Then I'm gonna go in with this set from Target and I'm gonna take out the red stirs. Then I'm going to complete the top with this cute little sign that I got from Hobby Lobby. They do have it this year, I saw it. I got it a few years ago. Now moving down to the bottom, I'm going to put this cute little cream and sugar set Look, this has like a cute little heart. I actually use these in my winter decor. And then this has a heart on top and yeah, of course it fell off. It didn't break, no worries, no worries, I saved it. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna put that right in the front. And then just some a candle holder and a little sign. But you're gonna kinda see me play around with this as well. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did. This is your friendly reminder that if you love what you see so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Not only does it really help my channel to grow, but it tells YouTube you love what you see and you want to see more. So smash that like button. So finally, after I got my tiered tray done, I'm going to take some of my Raydon mugs and I'm going to hang them on my mug rack. And then, of course, I always add a themed one to the Keurig itself. Look how cute. I want candy. Yes, I do. And then I'm going to complete the whole coffee bar with this I love you a latte uh, tea towel in my cabinet. And that's it. My coffee bar for Valentine's Day is complete. But before I give you the final reveal, I want to share with you this creamer. Of course, if you know me and following me for a while, you know I'm a huge Friends fan. So this is Hazelnut Mocha. My husband had to make three separate trips to Walmart to try to find it. So I thought to celebrate my coffee bar being done, I would have a nice fresh hot cup of coffee while I edit this video. <laughs> So yeah, um, highly recommend, it is yummy. But anyways, here is the final reveal of my coffee bar. What do you think? Jump into the car on a Friday night, I wanna drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town, I've never seen a sky so blue. We don't ever play it in the night, it's young, it doesn't matter what to be yours
I absolutely love how my kitchen and coffee bar came out. I think that it's so fun and festive. Let me know down in the comments if you decorate for Valentine's Day. And if you do, do you go the more neutral route or do you add color like I do? I just am a sucker for Valentine's Day. And I think it's because I just am such a pink girl. I just love pink. But also my dad's birthday is on Valentine's Day. So it's always been just a little more than just Valentine's Day. And we had a tradition where my mom would make just a bunch of different types of foods like chocolate covered strawberries, egg rolls, we had wings, we had just like a, a plethora of different like finger foods and we would sit in the living room on the floor and eat. And I don't know how that started or why that started, but it was for my dad's birthday. So it's just always one of my fondest memories. And we still try to continue that every year. So I think that's why Valentine's Day is so special to me because it's a special day in our family anyways. So let me know down in the comments if you celebrate Valentine's Day and what special traditions you have. I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. I truly hope that you got a lot of great ideas and inspiration on how you can decorate for this special holiday coming up. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and definitely turn on your notifications so you can get notified when I upload future videos. Well, until I see you again, I'll decorate with you soon. Bye.